Well, I'm here at Jer uh, Jerusalem University College, still in Israel, and I'm here with my instructor. So I've been here at a three-week course, intensive course, at Jerusalem University College, and we've been studying geography and history of Israel. This is my instructor. This is the woman who's put up with 40 of us <laughs> from all it's over the fun. world. It's been fun. It's been great. Yeah. You have been a courageous, brave, uh, patient woman. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been intense, but very fun. So. Well, this is Becca yeah. Pettit. It and uh, we are so grateful for really and truly grateful for yeah. all your expertise. Oh my golly, the breadth and depth of knowledge has been tremendous. Well, it's been a great time. You guys have been fully with me, which I love. And when students are excited, it makes me excited. Yeah, so, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, excited and hot and tired. You should see the cliffs we climbed. <laughs> but um, Becca, I just have a couple of questions. Yeah. And I knew that our people, you know, with Instagram and Facebook, would be really interested. Um, I want to just ask you, how on earth did you become a woman who takes people all over Israel and digs I, deep? I, I, I often ask myself that question <laughs> late at yes. night when I'm looking out on the horizon. What am I doing? Yeah, no, um, it's a, sort of a long story, but I'll try to short up. When I was 14, I came here for the first time. Um, my dad brought me here on a Christian pilgrimage tour, which was amazing. Wow. And right away, the land spoke to me. I could just sense that there were stories here that um, I didn't maybe fully understand or know, and I wanted to know more. And so, especially when I read the Bible on location, all of a sudden, these stories that were just in the text that I'd sort of imagined but not really clearly became alive to me. Yeah. Or they became alive in me, I should say. Mm. And Ooh. so, yeah. So I really okay. had a great time when I was here when I was 14. And I came here for school when I was in my 20s. Um, had a wonderful, life-changing experience, and then I went to film and television. I became a documentary filmmaker. I See, yeah. I love that part of your story, and yeah. I know we were talking earlier about <laughs> how you're the kind of woman, and these are the kinds of women I love. Not only, but women who move towards difficult situations. Yeah. It seems to me that you're someone who moves towards, um, well, trauma, difficult situations, yeah internationally right yeah so for, not away from hiding <laughs> yeah I mean it, in the Judean hills I didn't mean to yeah but I kind of did keep going forward so yeah. I mean I I think uh, the last several years I just worked in the film industry I was a documentary filmmaker I went um, all over the world mostly working on short films for NGOs humanitarian yeah. disaster relief kind of things um, saw a lot of stories that way and, yeah. and and that was hard sometimes. And I think after, for me, after 2011, I went to Japan right after the tsunami, and I was just in the fields of the, um, of death, really. And it was it was very traumatic. And I left that experience, and and my faith was shaken a bit. Wow. And and it took me five years to process it. And then I came back here after five years. I was still I still am in filmmaking actually. Yeah. But um, I wanted to come back to Jerusalem reimagine the, the stuff I had once learned and mm. be, be here again, mm. um, be back in the place of stories here. I love that. And so came back, um, I am doing my second master's. Uh, I don't, it's a little bit shocking that I'm doing a second master's. And uh, what's that in? My, yeah, my master's was in history and geography of the Bible and then Perfect. Hebraic roots of Christianity. Like that's so totally two, cool. Yeah, so two paths. Um, which I love and right. so yeah so what's it like for you and and just like one sentence what's it like for you taking uh, 40 international students <laughs> around for three weeks <laughs> morning oh, noon wow. and night what's night night like? night yeah 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 doing it what's okay. that like for you um half of it is raw, just raw, raw. yeah half of it is just so fun yeah um seeing people's reaction to the land seeing them look out the horizon and realize this is where the stories of the Bible took place. Amazing. Just that moment, I, I get to share it with other people and I love that. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of drama, logistics, and a lot of uh, cultural things I get to experience that are a little behind the scenes too that yeah. as a documentary filmmaker, I kind of love. So, I love yeah. that. <laughs> okay, one final question and here it is. Right. I want to know, um, since there was so much information, which I think you guys did a great job of layering it in, um, and so that was great pedagogy <laughs> in my opinion, but, um, but of all the information over the last three weeks, mm -hmm. this intensive course, what would be one thing that you would want to make sure that students, your students, I, can take away if it's one thing if, if you get if you get nothing else get this what would it be okay that's a hard one um, I think what it would be is that the you know the Gospels are four there are four Gospels and st. Jerome 
came here and he translated into the Vulgate. And while he was here, he said something amazing, which is that the land of the Bible is the fifth gospel. And so what I would love everyone to know is that when they come here and they look at the horizon line and they, they experience the land, the seasons, the sweating, the water, the difficulty, yeah. this is all part of the story of the Bible and of the gospel and of Jesus' life himself. So I want that to be a part of it. I want them to remember that when they go home and when they imagine the story again, to imagine it in this location. Yes. Um, Becca, I have to yeah. say, you, you said that numbers of times and for me, as someone who's a Bible teacher, a preacher, a speaker, I will be uh, layering in and um, plummeting the depth of all that I've learned from you over the last three weeks for a lifetime, I'm sure of it. So I, I'm all into the whole uh, visceral experience and reading the land and living the book. Yeah. I, I love I that. I love that phrase. I love that phrase. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah, your work. So I'm really grateful. Oh, Thank yes. you. Thanks, you guys. Bye. And bye-bye from Israel. <laughs>